Now, let's solve some questions on the types of testing. Which of the following is most correct regarding when functional tests may be executed? The question is asking about the levels of testing that the functional testing is executed inside. Of course, functional testing is performed inside all test levels from unit testing until acceptance testing. The same is for non-functional testing. Non-functional testing also is performed at all the test levels. Usability testing is an example of which type of testing. Usability testing is testing our system. Is it easy for the user to use or not? So usability testing is non-functional testing. Which of the following is an important characteristic of tests used for regression testing? The tests that are used in regression testing, which are the regression test suites, like we said, they should be stable and evolve slowly throughout the life cycle. That's what makes them a strong candidate for automation. So the correct answer is they are reusable for multiple releases with little maintenance. Which statement below best describes non-functional testing? Non-functional testing answers the question, is our system performing in a good way or not? So is it the process of testing an integrated system to verify that it meets specified requirements? The process of testing to determine the compliance of a system to coding standards, testing without references to the internal structure of a system, testing system attributes such as usability, reliability, or performance. So non-functional testing is that we test some attributes like usability, reliability, security, and performance. Which of the following statements are true? Regression testing and acceptance testing are the same. Of course not. This is wrong. Regression tests show if all defects have been resolved. This is not correct because exhaustive testing is impossible. Regression tests are typically well suited for test automation. This is correct. We use automation to automate regression test suites. Regression tests are performed to find out if code changes have introduced or uncovered defects. This is also correct. Repeated testing of an already tested program after modification to discover any defects introduced or uncovered as a result of the changes in the software being tested or in another related or unrelated software component. This definition is, of course, regression testing. Regression testing is that we test our components in order to know if our changes has introduced or uncovered new defects. The last question, which of the following is a true statement regarding the process of fixing emergency changes? If there is an emergency change and you want to fix it, there is no time to test the change before it goes live. So only the best developers should do this work and should not involve testers as they slow down the process. This is wrong. Anything must have some time for testing and testers should be involved in it. Only retest of the defect actually fixed. So here we perform only confirmation testing, but we don't perform regression testing, and this is wrong. Retest the changed area, and then use risk assessment to decide on a reasonable subset of the whole regression test to run in case other parts of the system have been adversely affected. This is correct. We retest this part and perform risk assessment to decide the scope of regression testing. Always run a full regression test of the whole system in case other parts of the system have been adversely affected. This is a good solution, but most of the time we don't have time to do this. We cannot perform a full regression test while we have some emergencies, okay? So that's why we use risk assessment to decide a subset of our regression tests to perform.